Hello friends, welcome back to USMLA team. Today's topic is about phenytoin. This is an important topic for USMLA step 1 examination. So try to concentrate on this and try to spend few minutes with me. I'm sure you will get some information that will help you for your USMLA examination. Before starting this, I would request you to subscribe to our channel and tell your friends to subscribe to our channel. Okay guys, let me start with this phenytoin. So as you are aware of this, uh, this is commonly used as an anti-epileptic. Okay, so this is very commonly used. Phenytoin acts to suppress the abnormal brain activity seen in seizures by reducing electrical conductance among brain cells by stabilizing the inactive state of the voltage gated sodium channels. So try to remember about the channels. Sometimes they can ask you for USMD step 1. Aside from the seizure, it is an option in the treatment of trigeminal neuralgia in event that carbamazepine or other first line treatment seems inappropriate. It sometimes considered a class 1b antiarrhythmic. So just remember about the uses that is it is used as an uh, antiepileptic uh, like in a generalized tonic clonic simple complex partial seizures. Okay, in a, it is used in a status epilepticus and trigeminal neuralgia is the second choice, right? Um, shall I ask you one question, which is the first line of drug used in the treatment of uh, trigeminal neuralgia? It's a carbamazepine, okay? So cardiac arrhythmias, it can be used as a class 1b, remember, okay? Let me move on to the next slide. Uh, what are the side effects? That's very important I'm going to talk today. Because uh, they can give you the history of uh, side effects of the phenytoin or toxicity of the phenytoin. This is a very important drug. So at therapeutic doses, phenytoin may produce a horizontal gaze nystagmus. Remember horizontal gaze nystagmus. At toxic doses, patients experience sedation, cerebral lar ataxia and ophthalmo ophthalmoparesis as well as seizures. Idiosyncratic side effects of phenytoin as with other anticonvulsants include rash and severe allergic reactions. I'm talking about the side effects, okay. The phenytoin may accumulate in the cerebellar cortex over a long period of time as well as causing atrophy of the cerebellum even ad administered at chronically high doses, high levels. Uh, despite this, the drug have has a long history of uh, safe use, making it one of the more popular anti-convulsants anti prescribed by the doctors and a common first line of defense in case cases. The hematological side effects of this drug, it has been suggested that the phenytoin causes a reduction in the folic acid levels predisposing patients to me megaloblastic anemia. So this causes megaloblastic anemia, remember. Um, Sometimes they can give, give you the history that the patient is uh, is having seizures and blah, 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 long history and says that he comes with a breathlessness, signs of anemia, right? Signs and symptoms of anemia. So you need to think of uh, phenytoin can induce uh, anemia that is a megaloblastic anemia. So this is a very important point you should know. Uh, folic acid is presented in foods as uh, polyglutamate which is then converted into monoglutamate by intestinal conjugase. Um, phenytoin acts by inhibiting this enzyme thereby causing folate deficiency. So look at this mechanism so this is very important you should know. Uh, the other side effects may include a granulocytosis, a plastic anemia, leukopenia and thrombocytopenia. Okay, teratogenicity. Phenytoin is known teratogen. Recently, I uploaded a video on this, I think, yeah, on uh, phenytoin teratogen, uh, just go through once and this is very important topic. The syndrome consists of a craniofacial anomalies like broad nasal bridge, cleft lift and a palate microcephaly and mild form of mental retardation, I IQ is equal to uh, 71. This syndrome resembles a well-developed fetal alcohol syndrome and also been called the fetal hydantoin syndrome. Some recommendations avoiding polytherapy and maintaining the minimal dose possible during pregnancy but acknowledge that current data do not provide clear, clear answers. Carcinogenicity There is no good evidence that phenytoin is a human carcinogen. So there is no evidence for that. Gingival, this is very important again. 
the gingival phenytoin has been associated with uh, drug induced gingival enlargement probably due to above mentioned folate deficiencies uh, indeed evidence from a randomized control trial suggests that a folic acid supplementation can prevent gingival gingival enlargement in a children who take phenytoin plasma concentration needed to induce in gingival lesions have not been clearly defined effects consist of the following bleeding upon the probing increased gingival exudate pronounced gingival inflammatory response to plaque levels associated in some instances with a bone loss but without tooth detachment so sometimes they can confuse you with this that the patient is a C, having a seizures and it develops a somatitis uh, they can confuse you because you think that it's a gingivitis that that's why so you need to differentiate you need to know the clinical features very well so that you can um, find out what is the cause for his stomatitis in a patient with a seizure uh, dermatological finding like hypertrichosis um, rash exfoliative dermatitis pruritis hirsutism coarsening of the facial features in autoimmune diseases uh, phenytoin has been known to cause drug induced lupus phenytoin therapy has been uh, linked to the life threatening skin reactions like steven johnson syndrome toxic epidermal necros necrolysis these conditions are significantly more common in patients particularly in hla b and hla b uh 1502 there is no need to remember just remember hlb that's more than enough for your your simple step one examination this allele occurs uh, more almost exclusively in patients with ancestry across the uh, broad areas of the asia including south asian indians okay the other thing what i want to talk about is in immunodeficiency disease uh, phenytoin is also associated with the induction of a reversible iga deficiency so remember sometimes they can ask you about this okay okay before starting this uh, about the metabolism and uh, effects of this um, what you call uh, phenytoin um, let me tell you once again let me revise you the side effects like gum hypertrophy we have hirsutism hypersensitivity reactions megaloblastic anemia osteo osteomalacia is a very important because uh, phenytoin desensitizes target tissue to vitamin d and interferes with the calcium metabolism so this is how the phenytoin causes osteomalacia is a side effect remember the other side effect of this it can inhibit the insulin release and cause hyperglycemia very very important hyperglycemia and the other important point is uh, um, if used in the pregnancy can be a teratogen okay so try to remember about this the features of uh, teratogen that's a uh, hyperplastic phalanges cleft palate hair lip microcephaly broad nasal okay so everything at high uh, plasma levels that uh, there are side effects that affects the cns systems so remember like this that's very important okay so phenytoin is an inducer of the enzyme so they, sometimes they can ask you about this so you try to remember this is an enzyme inducer of the cyp3a 4 CYP2C19 families of the P450 enzyme responsible for hepatic degradation of various drugs so this is very important P450 enzyme uh, warfarin and uh, trimethoprim increases the serum phenytoin level and prolong the half life of the phenytoin by inhibiting its metabolism so other things are hydantoins phosphonatoin uh, mefenatoin and uh, ethotoin okay these are the very important points you should uh, know about so interactions like a phenofarbicin completely inhibits the phenytoin metabolism while the enzyme uh, induction both enhances each other's degradation unpredicted overall interaction that's what happens actually okay guys um, um thank you so much these are the important points related to related to um, usmle examination that is the step one thank you so much for watching my video and uh, see you in the next amazing awesome video with me on uh, usmle team Okay and please do not forget to tell your friends to subscribe to our channel thank you take care